More than 1,000 cruise passengers painted the town red recently as they participated in the 12th annual Ohio State University Buckeye Walk Run for Cancer. Welcoming the group were Director General of Tourism Joy Giberlew and alumnus National Security Minister Marvin Dames. It exposes the Bahamas to a whole new audience that would not ordinarily have come. And while they're here for a one-day cruise, I am sure that as they run through the city of Nassau, they will see things that they will want to come back and explore. When I was approached um, a little over a month ago uh, to assist in, in kind of making it a reality on the ground here, it was certainly a pleasure for me. And it's a pleasure to be here this morning uh, just to witness this event um, because we know that you know the fight against cancer is an ongoing fight. Race director David Babner said the race has raised more than $100 million in funds over the years. We were here two years ago and absolutely blown away by the friendliness of the people, the welcomeness of the, of the security and the police forces here. Your merchants are here are unbelievable. And so we just said, if we're going to do it again, we, got, we want to come back as quickly as we could. So two years later, here we are. And you can see by the opening ceremonies this morning, it's just a really special relationship. I think we've created a great bond between all of us Buckeyes and the folks here in Nassau. This was the second time the event was hosted in the islands of the Bahamas through the Bahamas Roadmasters Club. They decided that um, the Bahamas is such a beautiful place. We did it 2017 and we did such a good job with it. They were so impressed and they decided to come back again. The group had a choice of a one mile or three mile walk run between Pompey Square to Arawaki. Part of the funds raised were donated to the Bahamas Cancer Society. I'm Candia Smith and this is Tourism Today.